Now, let's take a look at the programs of ELDC 2017, and we begin with our amazing program, Talented Speakers 2017. Talented Speakers enhances the English linguistic competence of students. It includes strict criteria of student evaluation, including the quality of the idea, fluency, caliber of the presentation, and the use of body language. Talented Speakers has three rounds. Now, round one, the first semester. At all levels of educational offices, schools nominate their best speakers. Those speakers compete against each other, and the best five speakers in every stage nominated for round two. Now, round two, in the second semester, around 90 speakers compete against each other during three days. A day for each stage, and the best speakers nominated for the closing ceremony. And today, you're going to see the best five talented speakers for 2017. So, good luck to our speakers. I'm going to talk about us. We are the children. United Nations celebrate World Children's Day every year on 12th of November to make people aware of children's rights. These are the most common rights that children must get. They should get proper care and love by parents and family. They should get healthy food, clean clothes and security. They should feel safe at home, school, or other places. They should get special care when disabled or sick. They should get good level of education. I am here not to celebrate World Children's Day. I am here to talk about the rights that most of children don't have. Let me talk first about a problem that the children face in our society. The first problem is divorce. Now divorce cases have increased. I feel sorry to say I have five cases in my class. They have learning and social problems. The parents don't care about them. The parents don't know if they go to school or not. When the parents get divorced, the children find themselves with a stepmother or a stepfather. Then the problem begins. But some teachers make us audience at school. They should give us more activity than encourage students to discuss. Remember, school should not be boring. School should be fun. Today, I'd like to speak with you about my personal experience. We cannot start anything at us. Start as a simple idea. For example, the car, the train, the mobile phone, all those inventions started as a simple idea then develop to their modern shapes. I saw my dream about my future when I noticed all those inventions and started to talk to myself about people who invented them. I stood in front of the mirror and said to myself, I wanna be one of them. I wanna be an inventor. 
And after getting the idea of being an inventor, I start to think how to achieve my dream. And after reading and searching about how to be an inventor, I found that I should follow some steps to achieve my dream of being an inventor. Those rumors are very, very dangerous because, you know, they pull on a lie and they're spread quickly around the world. And just remember, those rumors are cut up by haters, spread by fools, and accepted by idiots. The shade is real. So we have a lot of dangerous issues in a country and we have to fix them. So I'll give you some examples about them. Smoking, drugs, intolerance in sports, bullying, the showing off in Saudi Arabia, and finally, rumors. So I want to ask you a quick question. Do you know how do you look like when you believe the rumors? I'm asking you, do you know how do you look like when you believe the rumors? You look like a bobby tear. And the rumors spread a control on you. You look like a game on his hand. You cannot do anything when you become on his hand. But stop. We're not a game on his hand. We're human. Do you know what is the most popular rumor here in Saudi Arabia? This one. There's no school tomorrow because of the dust and bad weather. When we read this page, you don't think about the weather, what's going on here. We only think about the last two words. Happy vacation, don't we? Let's go with another rumor. Three deaths by the tuna fish. <laughs> rumors, rumors, rumors. Even the tuna fish got their shade of rumors. future, my aim is to become a zoologist. Do you know who is a zoologist? A zoologist, scientist who studies animals, are experts on everything about animals, from their cells to the history of their evolution. Now you know what is a zoologist. Now some of you might be wondering, how a visually impaired like me can do all of these activities and dream of being a zoologist at the same time. Well, <laughs> literally, I can be anything I want. Gonna show you how in three easy steps. Step number one, it's about an example. Now there are some people who might sleep all day and night, lay down on their beds on a cozy and comfort pillow and dream of being like, one day I'll be a doctor, one day I'll be a zoologist, one day I'll be a cetera. Well, no, mister, no way. Step number two. Now, dreaming itself, not gonna do it. No, not gonna help it out. You'll have to work harder for it, work harder. What do I mean by work harder? It's like study hard step number three which is keep believing in yourself never ever give up on yourselves i'll repeat it never ever give up on yourselves because quitters will never win and winners will never quit i was a bully i was making the people depressed making the people feeling sad i was letting the people laugh on some people and i was a social media person spending all my day on my phone and watching soccer matches and watching tv shows watching movies i was enjoying my life and that was the fine part of my life but when it comes to school Oh my gosh, this is the worst part of my life. I used 
to get bad grades at schools. And my dad used to hit me every time at the end of that year. But to be honest with you, it was hurting me just outside, but inside, it was nothing. Because I knew that tomorrow I'm going to complete my awesome life. And here it is. For four years from now, something strange has happened. My grades have shown up on the internet. My dad didn't call me or anything. But when he came back home, he went to his room, then he called Musama. So I went to his room. He asked me, how are your grades? I told him, well, they are just bad as always. And if you want to hit me, just do it. Then he told me, hey, come on. Well, I have to prepare myself for this part. So when I was going to him, after each step I took, I was saying to myself, Osama, take it easy. It's only tonight. Tomorrow you will complete your awesome life. It's only this day. It hurts you just outside. You will get hurt just tonight. You will get hurt just tonight. And it was in front of my dad. I closed my eyes and... I waited him to hit me. Ten seconds passed. I didn't feel anything. Twenty seconds passed. Nothing has touched me. 30 seconds passed. I opened my eyes slowly to see what happened. And I saw tears in his eyes. It was the first time in my life I see my dad is crying. He put his head in my shoulder and he told me, son, I believe in you. Can you make me proud? I couldn't talk. I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. And that was the first time in my life I got hurt inside. Yeah.